Hello everyone, uh, my name is Hilary Chin. Thank you so much for coming and watching our YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe, remember to like, remember to comment. Today we want to take you through a very important um, tool, um, PowerPoint. PowerPoint is good. It's also um, produced by Microsoft and it also comes together with a Word document and Excel. Um, uh, these are documents that are very unique and they have an amazing relationship. Um, Please, I want you to stay put. Um, this document is very, very important. Okay, if you are a university student, if you are a worker in your company, if you are a CEO, who, wherever you are and you aspire to grow in your full potential, this document will always be important for you to learn. It helps you present your idea to funders. It helps you pre present your ideas to donors. It helps you present your ideas to your lecturers. It helps you present your ideas to your friends etc okay and i'll just show you using a simple model for those who um are watching this tool for their first time let's go gradually and i'll show you how the environment looks like and maybe we can create something very basic at the moment to show you how it works okay let's just jump in and see what we have in our powerpoint so when you open your powerpoint this is how it looks and one thing I want you to notice is that each time you open it, you realize that most of the tools look dead. Okay, they are not active. It is okay. This is because this tool was created mainly to present um, ideas, present um, content uh, to for people to review. And we do this through slides. So our first um, action here will be to create our first slide. Okay, so to create your first slide, you just go up here. You see, there's an option here called new slides. So, of course, here we also have tabs, we have ribbons. Um, but to begin with, we go up here and we create our new slide. But before we do this, I just want to take you through, okay? We also have insert. You see, these are the options for insert. We have design. These are the options for design. We have transitions. We have animation, slideshows, reviews, views, developers. You know, so all these things will become active when we start creating our slides. So, if we go up here and we choose slide. You see, we have different formats, different format. Here it talks about slide, title slide. It talks about title and content. It talks about section header. It talks about titles only. It talks about picture with caption. It talks about content caption. It talks about blank. It talks about two content. So this depends on what you want to write on your slide per time. Okay. But today I want us to go to title slide. Okay. Let's use this one and see how it's gonna be it's gonna look when we click click here you see that is it i i love slide because when each time you click it automatically comes with these small boxes okay we have two small boxes here yeah they are very powerful i'll show you how they work so let's see in this slide um we want to first start start by presenting the gold of new semotech our youtube channel let's say we want to start by writing the name we just go and we say new semo we want to present this to a company to an organization to you that is watching so we say okay new semotech okay and then we go under here and let's say we want to change the font size okay um, we go here and we want to bold it we can bold it from here we are already learning the tools so if you want to bold this new semotech you can go up here let's say i want to change this text to maybe yellow no maybe green okay and then i click green you see i've changed the text here let's say i want to change this text to um i want to color the whole of this small box okay i can go up here and i choose this bucket each time you see this bucket is meant to color boxes columns and rows and cells okay and here i can change to i can decide to change it to this um maybe this color here you see i have changes to this color maybe i can decide to go back and change it to to yellow for it to be visible you see i've changed it to yellow and then also let's say i want to change i want to move this box from one location to another i allow my mouse to change to this and then i go up you see and then i click and i hold down and i come down you see good let's say i want to make this box smaller i allow my mouse to change to this small arrow you see and then i hold down and then i play with it i play around with it you see it makes it smaller and then i can move it again around up and down okay let's see under this um option here um why we have put we have already given new semotech we can ask we can say okay presented by who is presenting this new semotech presented by hillary okay hillary chin 
good and then we can decide now to come here again and select again and we can decide to still bold it we can decide to come again and then put it maybe in this kind of okay and we can decide to make this smaller and then we can decide to allow this move for us right down here to the small direction down here have you seen now good so we can decide to also make this bigger remember if we want to make this text to go bigger we just need to come here to the small the big this big and be clicking okay when you click it becomes bigger you see it becomes bigger um let's make it smaller again okay great you see so 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 i'm just trying to create a view for viewers to see but many times we really not like to color the inner part of our presentation we like to you see i'm going back to no feel to remove the the yellow color see so i've removed it so see how it looks now so when you look at this you already know okay we are presenting something new semotech okay and then if we want to add another slide we just need to click here and then we go to new slide up here and we click and then we select maybe we want to select this maybe we want to select this but now we want to select a title and a content so we click this one now we want to put a content here i want to put a title so the title here can be what is the goal of new semotech We want to set write the goal why are we teaching this okay we want to put it in bold as well we want to um, also change it to green as well you know um, we want to follow systematically and then inside here we want to put a text okay so one of our goals is um, we want to improve we have one goal okay and we can decide to we want to uh, we want to, we want it to have this format in terms of numbering we want it to have this format you see I want to choose a numbering format okay we can come here and choose this kind of number we want it to go to one two three and onward so we choose so here i can say we want to improve the tech capacity of organizations of organizations that's the first one we go to we now we can click enter to move to the next we click enter we want to improve the tech capacity of companies okay now we can say in africa okay we go here in africa okay slash cameroon you see in africa slash cameroon so this is our goal so we have two goals okay at the end of the day maybe in two years in three years we want organizations to be able to to know and understand what we are teaching here okay and then we can highlight here and decide to reduce the font size and maybe put it in bold okay so this is just how we are already creating a presentation and here um many times when you're creating presentation please don't put all contents on your presentation you just need to create um write very briefly captions of words or statements or sentences and then you can now explain further why you are talking to your audience okay those are just some of the tips improve the tech capacity of companies in africa and cameroon someone might ask tech capacity as what which kind of text what are you really now you can begin to explain to them telling them that okay it's excel skills web document powerpoint presentation kobo toolbox and precisely taking each um, item or tool and explaining their use for instance kobo toolbox is used to collect data from the field for those who are organized yeah, humanitarian organizations it helps you to collect data from hard to reach areas and um, there you can work with your focal point wherever it, around the world they can put in data and then it comes to your database and then you analyze from wherever you are whether from cameroon from united states wherever you are okay and web document as well can help you to write projects etc okay excel can also help you to do a lot of data analysis and relationship uh, creating relationship between excel and also the same kobo toolbox how to remove document from kobo toolbox bring it you know you can begin to explain that why you have just given a caption okay if we go again and we click we go to new slides and then here again we might decide to choose title and content again we choose again this is our third slide here now we can pull types of tools types of tools that we are 
teaching okay we go here and then we go to again to our text we want to change it to green sorry um we want to go to this other dark green you see and then we bold it again and then we make it smaller a little bit okay and then we come now to our text and then we go here again and we choose what we choose um, we want this now to go in roman no sorry 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 we choose here again i want this to go to in roman numerals okay we want it to go we want this to go to from a to b and c okay we put excel we go to the next we put word we click enter we go to the next we put um powerpoint powerpoint we go to the next we put um kobo sorry two box we go to the next we put power bi these are all tools that i use personally to do a lot of data analysis a lot of data um mining data um, um rambling a lot of things i use this tool to you i use them for my data analysis as a data analyst i'm specialist this is what i use a lot daily to interact with my data with large data small data whichever way that um, this data comes in these are some of the tools that i use okay so now you see these are the types of tools and then we can go to our next slide again and then we choose sorry i'm, I'm rushing you guys <laughs> yes you click here and then okay here again we can decide to just change maybe the font size or the text okay we can go here and then we choose sorry the text we can go to roman numerals so and we are already learning the tools huh? so just pay attention you see we can decide to choose any other formats okay we can decide to choose so it's, it works the same like word document okay so we can decide to choose any um i want us to choose let's choose this man here we choose it you see so it changes to what we have chosen okay and then um when we come here also we can decide to change the font size as well we can decide to come here and then we change the font size also we can decide to bring it to 18 we can decide to bring it to 24 you see depending on how you want it to look like we can decide to change the location of this text we can decide to come here you see we are clicking you see you see it is taking different format you see it is taking different format we can decide to put it in the middle okay we can also decide to change it in terms of the 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 spacing okay it is in what for we have 1.0 now we can decide to put it 1.5 or 2.5 you see so it's already expanding as we choose it's already showing us how it will look so let's put it to 1.5 because we want our viewers to really see what we are teaching them we can also decide to come here and then change the text as well why not change the text also um to maybe um, um maybe something red yeah maybe something red and then we put we bold it we can decide to say okay we want to underline this header here okay we can decide to come here and put it in italics and then we underline it okay we can decide to you know these are just some of the things we can decide to do as far as um our powerpoint is concerned now we just want to put title slide okay and then here we can just come and just put thank you for watching you see that's it and then we can remove this man and then we can just thank you for watching we can just come here now and then we create a really large space for sorry there's something i want to do here. so it, it just depends on you how you want this to look like i can just put god bless you see i can just put thank you for watching and god bless and i put some like really um and i try to expand it even more even more try to expand it even more and then i bold it and then i still put it again maybe in some sea green you see and then god bless down here i can decide to bold it as well i can also decide to put it in different the light green um decide to put it in the light green and then i can also decide to increase the font size just from here you see it's already increasing by just clicking up here so you see now that we have created our powerpoint new semo tech presented by hillary chain um, the goal of Newsemo Tech is to improve the tech capacity of organizations in Africa, Cameroon, and also improve the tech capacity of companies in Africa, tech, Africa, Cameroon. Okay, so we are working with organizations and companies. Okay, and then types of tools that we are we, learn, we are we are teaching: Excel, Word document, PowerPoint, Power BI, and others. Okay, others. Now, in the course of presenting this project to somebody, now the person might ask what do you mean by others can you tell us now i can say okay those tools are not like google sheet um microsoft 
Google Sheet, Google Doc that are not here. Um, um, Tableau also works um, the same like um, Power BI. They are not here. So I'll begin to explain those other tools because I've mastered them. Okay, so when you are presenting using PowerPoint, you, you must have mastered your, 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 your vision. You must have mastered your content very well because you don't want to come and chuck everything on the PowerPoint. Okay, so this is how we look. And then again, another thing I want you to take note of. Let's say this slides, maybe um, the last slide, I did not like it. I want to delete it. You just need to go on it and then you right click and then you go here and then you delete the slide. You see, we have deleted the slide. So now we have just three slides. Let's say you want to duplicate this slide because you want to just do some very brief changes i just have to right click and then i come here to duplicate and i duplicate you see now we have two of them slide two and three now are the same they are all they are the same let's say you want to go here and then you create a new slide okay you don't necessarily need to come up here to create a new slide let's say you want to create a new slide in between slide one and two all you need to do is to click to two and then you come here and then you go to new new slide you see you have created now in between the slides you can now add something maybe you want to add something let's say you want to change the layout you just click and you come to this layout here and then you change the layout okay okay we'll be looking at how you can put pictures how you can create tables with slides in the other video um for now i don't want to really choke so many things at the same time i just want you to follow this basic that we are doing and then you, you are able to create your own slide okay so so this is how simple it is so i can now present this to an organization to a company and tell them that oh this is what i'm doing and i think that this is a good fit and all that stuff and then start answering some other questions thank you all so much there's another thing i want to show you this is design if we go to design we can decide to change this to other designs okay if i click here you see this is a design if i click here you see it's already changing my designs it's already giving me a different look you see i click here you see it's already giving me a different beautiful look you see different look different look. you see if i come here and i click here it's already giving me a different look it's giving me a different look i can still come here after choosing these designs and then i come up here this has these are colors and i click on these colors and then i begin to change colors okay i begin to change colors the way i want that's it that's it so so this is all we had for you um of, of power, for powerpoint at the moment and um, we'll be coming up with other videos thank you for watching and keep staying tuned keep learning and improving and um, we look forward to see you in the other video please comment please like please share please um subscribe thank you very much and god bless you